What's up guys, I'm back. Kinda. In a couple of weeks I will know for sure if I'm out of this hellhole, but for now I'm gonna be grinding YouTube full time again, at least I'm gonna try. I have some announcements coming very soon that I think a lot of you guys will enjoy, like a Discord server and stuff like that, so stay tuned. Yesterday the Battlefield 5 War in the Pacific trailer came out and it looked absolutely amazing and I really wanted to make a video on it somehow so I looked through my older videos and noticed the awesome thumbnails from my worst to best series and then decided you know what I'm gonna do a worst to best video about all the Battlefield DLC trailers in Battlefield history that way I can include the Battlefield 5 War in the Pacific trailer plus the last time I did a worst to best video was like over two months ago you know because I was going through chemotherapy so I think it's time that I make one again Without further ado, let's begin. A quick note though, I decided to only include the trailers that are running on the Frostbite engine. Otherwise, you know, it wouldn't really make any sense. And I'm ranking these trailers obviously on how cool they are, what they brought to the game, and the hype they created. So let's start off with the worst DLC trailer. It's the Robbery DLC for Battlefield Hardline. And expect a lot of Battlefield Hardline DLC trailers to be near the bottom of the list because they are simply not as good as some of the other DLC trailers. The reason why I dislike this trailer so much is because it reminds me of the launch trailer for this game. A very scripted, non-cinematic gameplay trailer. You know, with simply not a lot of visual... You know, wow factor, it, there's not much going on. You'll see later in the video some of the Battlefield 1 DLC trailers and how amazing they are. And this just doesn't come anywhere close. Next up is the Battlefield Bad Company 2 Onslaught Game Mode DLC trailer. I think a lot of people have forgotten about this, but Onslaught was a co-op DLC that you could play with up to 4 players. It's nothing crazy, it's pretty cool, but you know, nothing amazing. And the same thing can be said for the trailer. Just a standard trailer, nothing too exciting, just a little promo for this game mode. Next up is yet again a Battlefield Hardline DLC trailer. It's Criminal Activity, the first DLC for Hardline. Now, regardless of what you think of the game itself, these trailers are simply not very good. They decided to go with this cool gangster hip-hop kind of theme for the trailer. And you know, I guess Battlefield fans don't vibe with it that much because people didn't really like it. And neither do I. It's kinda cheesy, it's kinda cringy, not gonna lie. And no, sorry, it's not very good. By the way, if you wanna look at these trailers in their entirety, just search them up on YouTube, they are all available, of course. Next up is the Battlefield 5 Hardline Betrayal DLC trailer. This one is a little bit cooler because of the dark tone and the music, but all in all, a cheesy, scripted, unnatural gameplay trailer. And I simply don't like it, I'm sorry. The cinematic trailers are far, far better and you'll see that in a minute. Next up, the last Battlefield Hardline DLC trailer on this list, the Getaway trailer. This one is by far the best out of the Battlefield Hardline DLC trailers because the action sequences are actually pretty cool. The chase scenes are also really well done. The maps are shown within the chase scenes, which I thought was pretty cool. And yeah, it's just better than the other ones. For all the next trailers, we're gonna see a bump up in quality. All these trailers are way cooler than what we have seen so far. Whether it be because of the music, the editing, the content we're seeing, or the hype it created. So next up is the Battlefield 3 Close Quarters DLC trailer. In terms of Battlefield 3 DLC trailers, this Close Quarter trailer is nothing special, but it is still very cool with its crazy gunfights in small places. So you see micro destructions and stuff like that. It also introduced a new game mode called Gunmaster, which is one of my all time favorite game modes. So yeah, this trailer was hype. Next up, we have the Battlefield 4 Final Stand DLC trailer. The reason why this trailer is on the lower side of the spectrum is because we didn't really get to see that much. There was no gunfights, in fact there was not a single soldier in this whole trailer, which is obviously done by choice. The whole point of this trailer is to tease the lore of the Final Stand DLC in my opinion, I think, which is this kind of futuristic Battlefield 2142 vibe with these crazy robot prototypes just sitting there in the hangar and stuff like that, which is really cool, but I still personally prefer the crazy action sequences that the Battlefield trailers are known for. This was more of a teaser than anything. Next up is the Battlefield 3 Aftermath DLC trailer. Not much to say about this trailer, the Aftermath DLC is one of the last DLC packs for Battlefield 3 and you can see that the DICE media team is leaning more and more towards the cinematic style 
of making trailers rather than just gameplay. And it shows, it's a cool trailer, they show off some cool maps, some cool new guns, the new scavenger game mode, nothing much more to say. Up next is Battlefield 3's Endgame DLC trailer. Same story as the last one except it's even more cinematic, filled with awesome content. We get this opening shot of an airdrop IFV, we can see a cool chase scene with multiple bikes and they are playing capture the flag which is really cool. New vehicles, awesome maps, also air superiority which looks absolutely amazing in this trailer. So yeah, this trailer is just pretty awesome. But not as awesome as the Battlefield 3 Back to Car Can trailer. And that's because the hype this trailer generated was something special. We got to see some fan favorite Battlefield 2 maps returning in Battlefield 3, obviously on the Frostbite engine with some awesome destruction. And the way they delivered it was absolutely awesome. Up next is the same kind of trailer but for Battlefield 4. It's the second Assault DLC trailer. Pretty much the same as Battlefield 3, back to Karkin trailer but obviously a lot cooler, better cinematics, better music and they added voice lines to create you know this little narrative which is pretty cool and they did that to other Battlefield 4 trailers as well. Like the next one on this list, the China Rising DLC trailer. This trailer already starts off strong with introducing the attack of the Chinese army and this crazy bomber plane right off the bat, which looks really badass, crazy big maps, and of course, like always, great gunfights and awesome cinematics. The next trailer is the Battlefield 4 Dragon's Teeth DLC trailer. The reason why I like this DLC trailer more than the other ones is actually simply because of the music. Because in this DLC, you are on Chinese soil, so they gave the Battlefield theme this Asian flavor, if you will. And it works amazingly well in combination with the visuals. Also we get to see some cool new elements and gadgets and stuff like that. And besides that, it's pretty much just the same as the others. Up next is the Battlefield 4 Naval Strike DLC trailer. And this is in my opinion the best Battlefield 4 DLC trailer. And that's because it created so much hype for the naval warfare aspect of the game. Naval warfare is an element that isn't always on the forefront in Battlefield games. And in this DLC there was about to change. And that was a big big deal. Also the way they implemented the new game mode called Carrier Assault in this trailer is really well done. And you really get this feeling of carrier versus carrier. You know one army versus another army. And this time on the water. Really really cool. Next up is the Battlefield 3 Armored Kill DLC trailer. And this trailer in my opinion perfectly capsulates what Battlefield as a franchise is all about. Large scale all out warfare battles. I mean look at this, if this doesn't scream Battlefield, I don't know what does. In this trailer we see a lot of vehicles facing off against each other, which is obviously the point, hence the name Armored Kill. And the way it ends is also really cool, it's like the opening shot, but with all vehicles destroyed. Pretty awesome. Now we are entering cinematic masterpiece territory. Next up we have the Battlefield 1 Turning Tides North Sea Update DLC trailer. This trailer isn't as cool as the other Battlefield 1 official trailers because it is solely made out of gameplay footage, but that doesn't mean it isn't amazing. It's actually created by one of the community members named Hoodoo and he created this masterpiece. The North Sea update was basically the second half of the Turning Tides DLC that we got a month later I believe and we got two new maps and some awesome new vehicles and stuff like that. Really really cool. Next up we have arguably one of the best expansion packs for any Battlefield game period. The Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam expansion. This expansion took the base game which was set in a modern setting and took it to the Vietnam War, along with Vietnam weaponry obviously, and vehicles and stuff like that, awesome maps, and of course, fortunate songs playing in the background. It's not the best trailer in terms of visuals, but the hype around this Vietnam trailer was just something else. And now the top 5. We start the top 5 with the Battlefield 5 War in the Pacific trailer. There it is, finally. Say what you want about Battlefield 5, but it looks like they are finally starting to take things seriously again. This trailer is amazing and packed with content. I think we get something like 3 or 4 fan favorite maps from the Pacific, obviously tons of weapons we were waiting for, 2 battle pickups actually which are the Aim True Flamethrower and the Japanese Katana which is pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. And this trailer just ticks off all the boxes, large scale battles, amazing visuals, a lot of cool battlefield moments such as this one, a cool dual narrative from the US and the Japanese perspective. 
and considering the state of Battlefield 5, it creates a lot of hype. So yeah, this one is one of the best Battlefield DLC trailers ever made. Oh, and I decided not to count single map DLCs such as the Community Operations map for Battlefield 4 or Tides of War chapters for Battlefield 5 and stuff like that, as I feel that it doesn't really feel like a proper DLC pack, you know what I mean? This, however, does. Up next is the Battlefield 1 In The Name Of The Sark DLC trailer. This Russian DLC was really, really cool in Battlefield 1 and the way they introduced the Russian army on those horses with the lance and everything and how they implemented the Women's Battalion of Death was also really well done. It's so cool, the music is absolutely epic in this trailer and the ending when the cavalry unit pierces that German soldier was crazy. A lot of hype for this DLC back in the day, really cool. Same goes for the next DLC trailer on the list, the Battlefield 1 They Shall Not Pass DLC. At this time, Battlefield 1 didn't receive any new content for like 6 months or so since launch, so we were desperate back then to get some new content, which was one of Battlefield 1's biggest problems by the way. And then we got the first DLC, which introduced the French army. We got new awesome maps, some of the best in the game in my opinion. We got a new behemoth, new elite class, new guns and stuff like that. It was just all around an amazing DLC, especially for the first one and it came, well, let's be honest, just a little bit too late, but it was amazing. But when you look solely at the trailers themselves and the visuals, nothing, in my opinion, beats these last two trailers. The second best DLC trailer is the Battlefield 1 Turning Tides DLC trailer. It looks like a freaking movie. A World War I beach landing assault in Gallipoli. How awesome is this trailer done? Say what you want, but Battlefield 1 had by far the best trailers in the entire franchise. That's why the top 4 is all Battlefield 1 DLC trailers. I highly advise you guys to look up the Battlefield 1 DLC trailers after this video and just, you know, take in these masterpieces. And now for the number 1, the best DLC trailer in Battlefield history. In the end, there will be no one left. The Battlefield 1 Apocalypse DLC. Although the most disappointing DLC in Battlefield 1 in terms of content, the trailer for this DLC was just something else. A perfect portrayal of the mindset of the soldiers during World War 1 and the war itself. It's brutal, it's dark, it's gritty and like I said after this video please go watch these trailers in their entirety, they are truly masterpieces. It's kind of ironic, after this amazing trailer, the next official Battlefield trailer was the Battlefield 5 trailer, which is, you know, kind of the polar opposite of this dark and gritty trailer. But anyway, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what you think of the list and if you agree, what is your list. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you guys next time. I'm back, baby.